I have a lot of people asking me the same question. How to connect the wireless Android Auto in your Mercedes? Let me show you. On the multimedia home screen, touch the smartphone icon to see all the devices currently paired with your car. Then press the connect new device button. Now you can see your car's Bluetooth ID, starting with the MBUX, followed by five digit number. At this point, get your cell phone, touch and hold the Bluetooth button until you see all your Bluetooth connections. You may need to scroll down to view the available devices. Find the MBUX device that matches the name displayed on your Mercedes multimedia screen. You can pair multiple devices, so make sure the name and numbers match precisely. Touch the corresponding device on your smartphone. Confirm the passkey on your phone has an exact match on your car's display. Click the pair button on your cell phone and yes on your vehicle screen. Once the connection is established, you can use your cell phone for Bluetooth calling immediately. So you won't need to pair your phone with the car separately. It's automatically paired. Now you can also stream Bluetooth music from your phone. And now your wireless Android Auto is connected and almost ready to use. You must allow this app to have access to your cell phone contacts and access to messages. Once you see the message to continue on your car screen, click accept and start. And don't forget to set start automatically in your car settings. So it will connect immediately every time you enter your car. Hit continue on the welcome screen and now you're ready to rock and roll. You can customize the view, add various apps via the Google Play Store on your cell phone and zoom in and out on the navigation map. If you'd like to watch my full tutorial on how to use Android Auto properly, or if you'd like to see the latest Android multi-screen updates, watch my other videos. The links are below in the description area. This wireless Android Auto works only on the latest Mercedes-Benz models. Older Mercedes models also have Android Auto, but it's not wireless it's wired. However, if you'd like to convert your old wired connection into wireless, you'd need to get a separate box. You can watch my other video about the wireless Android box, where besides Android Auto, you can also watch YouTube and Netflix in your car or even mirror your phone. I'll put the links in the description area below. And the question of today is, do you prefer Android Auto wired or wireless and why? Please let us know in the comment section below.